What's going on everybody, it's your boy Rook here from Rook Geek. Goodness, cracking into some more Lorcana Rise of the Floodborne. If you're not aware of this, it of course is the second series for Lorcana. The first chapter was in fact the very first release of this product. Uh, price point for this or MSRP which goes to about $7 a booster pack. Let's get into it guys. If you're enjoying this content, with a smash the like button and subscribe. Let's crack into this one right here. Again, Rise of the Floodborne. Very cool packaging. Let's get into what we can get here. We're hoping for those enchanted cards. That's what we're really looking for. That's where the money is. Let's get into it here. I'll slow roll it so you can see what it looks like. You get commons, uncommons, super rares, and legendaries. You get a foil in every single pack. Let's showcase off all these are common cards. You can see the common from this symbol right here if you're not aware. We're looking for any of the enchanted cards. That's where the money is. So here's where your uncommon, uncommon start here. We have Daisy Duck, Launch, Fairy Godmother, which again is a uncommon. Now we get into our rares. We have here the Prince Charming, which is a rare. You usually get two rares or higher. Than what means. Mainly they'll upshift the rarity. They can. So let's see what they got here. We got two rares. We got Dinner Bell and Prince Charming. Our foil is Winnie the Pooh, which is, of course, another rare. You can see the rare symbol right here. And you always get one of these pieces here to create the pictures of four pieces. This one is Minnie Mouse. We had the Brave Little Tailor in the very first release. So these are the premium cards we got out of this one. Prince Charming, Dinner Bell, and Winnie the Pooh foil. Let's keep it going. Let's hope for those enchanted cards. That's where the real money, the meat and potatoes, if you will, of this set exists. That's what people are chasing for. That's what they want. So let's keep going here. We're looking again for the uh, really good stuff. So again, there's our comments. We got Launch. We got Rhea. We got uh, Ellie La Booth. We got a weight set, which is again another rare. We got a super rare, which is Basil. And we got Queen of Hearts as our foil. You can see that right there. It's hard to notice, but it is a foil. So that's what we got in this one. So we got a super rare in this one. I think Legendary, I think they've talked about, I think it's maybe one out of four packs. So we have a good shot of getting a, a Legendary card here. So let's hope we can pull a Legendary. Hope you guys had a good New Year, good uh, New Year's resolution. Me, <laughs> not so much. Can't keep my New Year's resolution. Always happens that way. So let's keep rolling. Let's see what we get here, guys. So we got our Uncommons. We got Paka, Tiara, Merlin as a goat. So I think they did stuff with Merlin and the opposing sort of uh, another uh, wizard in the Sword and Stone. There are a bunch of animals, I believe, that are in this set. Correct me if I'm wrong. So we have Merlin. We have a super rare here of Arthur. We have Beast as a legendary. So we did get a legendary, which is a gold symbol. And our foil is a common. So we did get something really meaty, something juicy out of this one. So this was a good one. They upshifted the rarity from super rare, from rare to super rare, and they gave us a legendary. So that's really, really good. Don't know his value on the secondary market. Let me know in the comment section. Is he a good card? I'm not entirely sure. And last pack here. Let's see what we can get here. Last pack magic. Hopefully we can crack open something good. I really hope we get something good out of this one here, guys. Let's see what we can get here. Moving to the last. I think that's the, might be the Minnie Mouse card that's in those pieces. Or, no, nope, it's not that one. It's a different one. And they have all the seven dwarves, of course. You can get the seven dwarves out of the starter deck. And here are our uncommons. We got Fang Crossbow, Card Soldiers. We got House Armor. So our first rare is Queen of Hearts. Our next rare, super rare, is the queen herself in her hag state. And our foil is a common, which is Rhea. So let's take a look at all the good stuff we pulled here, guys. Not too bad, all things considered. Uh, we got the queen, the queen of hearts, the queen itself. Rhea as a foil. We have Arthur as a super rare. Beast as our legendary, which is really, really nice. We have the Enchantress as a foil. We have Weight Set as a rare. We have Basil as a super rare. We have the Queen of Hearts as a foil. Prince Charming as a, a rare. Dinner Bell is a rare. And of course, Winnie the Pooh. Now, if you're not aware, I'll kind of conclude with this. EN2 means this is from the second set. If you see cards that say EN1, that would be from the first chapter set. It kind of tells you of kind of a little legend, if you will, of what card goes to what set. So I do hope you like this video review and opening of Rise of the Floodborne season, series number two. I'm going to click the like button bonnet page, click the all important subscribe button, picture my face. When you subscribe to the channel, click the bell, comment over the latest videos. Of course, last but not least, you can click windows here and here to watch more of my content. Take care, guys. See you next video, and bye-bye.